Hello. So today I've got an update for the DD of chain reaction. Um, yesterday the patch notes have hit, and uh, there are a couple of changes that um, affect this build. But honestly, um, it survived almost unnerved. Honestly, um, this is quite surprising for me since it's a overperforming skill, uh, at least last week. Um, but it seems like GG is fine with it, and uh, it is here with us to stay. Um, so the major changes are basically the changes that hit everybody. Those are the flask changes, the quality on armor changes, and um, general progression changes in SSF um, environments. Uh, here you can see the PoE and the guide. For us, nothing changes when it comes to tree when it comes to uh skills the progression through leveling um campaign will be harder because of the league mechanic which is not something you can opt out of this is a new thing and gg hasn't ever i think ever introduced a mechanic where you actually have to take part in um which will make the leveling experience a little bit tougher this is important because now um you really have to be careful what you do uh, while you're leveling because as a witch you're more squishy than let's say when you're playing bone shatter on your first playthrough um there on the other hand are change like chances that you might find some good items while leveling because the league mechanic seems to offer you rare items with very like uh straightforward streamlined uh type of uh modifiers so it might actually make it easier in the long run this i don't know but uh, i hope so uh, either way uh, i just made a small little change in the notes section i've added the patch 324 changes and to sum it up well nothing major um the quality of on plus and armors is hurting us a little bit uh, because now we have to craft armor or weapon or whatever to get a higher quality than 20 you cannot get crafts anymore in uh, syndicate this obviously lowers your defenses it's a my it's, it's a very minor thing but well it is what it is um well uh big nerf in a way uh is whenever we are transitioning into eb uh eb mom setup i mean eb setup um we are getting um, our mana cost reduction lowered. Unfortunately, you cannot get mana cost reduction on uh, on the flasks anymore, which was helpful in the previous uh, patch. It's not mandatory. You can absolutely play without it, and I think you can do well, and you can sustain. It's just going to be a little bit more annoying if you were relying on this before um besides that well um there has been some atlas changes which i'll go into in a second uh but i think in general it's going to be easier to farm syndicate which is the most important part for us um the left click change with uh, no instant skills on left click it doesn't really hurt us that much uh you will probably you were probably not using that before anyway and um if you were using something like steel skin and molten shell on left click well tough luck now we will have to click it if you don't remember you will have lower defenses or just automate it or you know at the cast when damage taken um all right so besides that i think when it comes to the build and the tree we stay the same uh necromancer had a couple of changes especially to mindless aggression but we aren't taking it in the first place anyway it says minions will deal 10 percent more damage now it might be pretty good with the um with the spiritual aid but i think i'm not sure if it works honestly i'm not sure and i wouldn't really uh try it besides we have other really good notes to take so this is absolutely not something you would want to take anyway. Um, yeah. Besides that, I think we are good. Items don't change too much. Um, 
the progression is still pretty much the same, which I'll go into right now. Um, I'll post the updated POB whenever the uh, never like whenever the uh, POB has an update for the free twenty five uh, free twenty four tree. I'll just update it, post it again, and it will be in this video description. Um, yeah, and now uh switching to the patch notes yes for the patch notes uh the only thing that is important for us is this thing which is very minor um well it will be tough in 17 maps but it will be tough anyway and you have so much damage anyway that it doesn't really matter that much um so it's a minor change it's something to keep in mind but nothing to really be afraid of especially if you're playing dd it's it's busted um and yeah for the other things as i said the ascendancy nothing important june etc okay but we have an atlas tree so this is basically what i'm planning to do uh for my own league start i'm not sure if i'm gonna go ssf hardcore or maybe just uh, to kind of spice it up i will go softcore or maybe spice it down uh, in that case um, but um, what you can see uh, here is very similar to what I was doing you don't have the I don't know what it was stream of consciousness uh, not really there was a note here that uh, blocked you from using any scarabs and stuff and gave you 50% plus to uh, different league mechanics it's gone so we don't take this anymore but what we start with is obviously essences um, Essences work it like this right now. In white maps, the highest tier is screaming, and then from the yellow and red maps, you get shrieking. Shrieking is what you want to get. Um, deafening, even better. But screaming is all you can get in white maps. So all your early progression will be still on only screamings, wailings, so on. This is not a huge problem since. Before we get here, we are already almost in the red maps. I mean, uh, sorry, in the yellow maps. So it's a little bit dodgy, but it's not not terrible. Um, so what people would normally do is go here, take those two nodes, and just rush Kirak. And you can do that. You can do that. Um, but in a case where essences are pretty much nerfed, and we are not taking this part, and we want June because we are not going to get missions otherwise because there are no missions on the map device anymore we want to path here and take June it's 40% which is pretty good for the beginning um, then we want to go up here rush here you're going to lose like a couple of maps of progression for this but you're going to get here so here we go here Boom, boom, boom. We go here, take the Kirak, take this node, which is eh, pretty good for the beginning. And then we rush to Essences again. After that, we are taking Expedition here, Expedition, well, here, and Expedition here. And I'm going Extreme Archaeology. This shit gives you so much juice that you will be flying in currency in the beginning. And because we are the D of Chain uh, Reaction, we work extremely well because the cor uh, the corpses of the monsters from uh, expedition they have very high amount of life usually high amounts of life sorry so once you get one dead you can explode it everything dies it's great um and yeah well uh everything before that i've explained in the previous video to recap go through the campaign get to act 10 get all the passive skill points maybe skip uh, uh, Vilenta, if you're afraid that you will die to her, but no, probably not unless you're in the gauntlet. Um, and um, run the merc map, run it, run it, run it until you get your transfigured gem. Once you get your transfigured gem and you see that your equipment is very good, and by very good, I mean you get at least 10k armor evasion, grace, the term, uh, decent amount of levels, right then you are ready to kind of start entering maps. If not, try to run a little bit more of Ready Query, 
because now we cannot reset uh, <laughs> foothills anymore because there is a pack of monsters right there. So you have to go to Reliquary, run some uh, Junes, run some Deliriums if you want. Um, it's very good XP. It's going to give you a lot of good unveils. Maybe you're gonna get the unveil for the trigger on the wand. Maybe you're gonna get the unveil for the fist as fist taken as fire. Could be great. Okay. Once you feel you're strong enough, go into maps, progress maps. You won. Congrats. Um, yeah. And that's basically it. Uh, there's not much more. Uh, once you get those, I would honestly suggest investing in harvest. Although. I'm not sure how the league mechanic will turn out. It might be that it's a very good crafting system and it might be that it gives you very, very powerful items. So you might not need harvest. But I would just to be sure invest in harvest a little bit. And from that point, you just do whatever you want and you are good to go. So to recap, no big changes. You're all good. Build this bastard. Enjoy it until it lasts and have fun in the new league. So, goodbye. And I might be streaming, but might also not. Um, it all depends if I uh, will have access to my PC on the League Lounge, which might not be the case. Uh, if I am, you're invited to come over, ask me a question, see, I'll be playing this build for sure. Um, just don't know if in SSF or in Hardcore. I mean, SSF Hardcore or not. We'll see. Bye-bye.